today I am gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine in the UK's most haunted hotel, the Adelphi Hotel. I actually have, I can hear creaks already. Not a good sign. I actually have stayed in these Alfie before. We filmed a video there as well, so if you're into all things spooky, you will want to go and watch that. It's on my other channel with Louise, which is called <coughs> Lindsay and Louise. I'm gonna link it in the description below if you do want to see that one. But as well, not only am I doing an everyday makeup routine, I'm also staying the night. Well, I'm gonna put it out there. Don't know whether I will stay the full night, but I'm gonna be exploring, go something around the hotel alone this time alone but as well with equipment this time we've got an emf meter we've got thousand rods so hopefully we'll catch a lot more but for the time being let's crack on with my everyday makeup routine i'm not gonna lie my everyday makeup routine hasn't changed a lot since the last time i've done one which was like one of my first videos maybe the second video i've done but bits and bobs i've changed i'm just gonna do it anyway i have had a few messages on instagram asking for this so let's do it let's do it so the foundation i wear every day is the l'oreal true match foundation i personally think it is pretty good and it's super cheap as well i think it's gonna be like 10 pounds but it does the job for sure to be honest i think at the minute i am using shade which is like a little bit too light for me but we always bronze it up with contour anyway so it's not a big deal by the way i forgot to mention i am literally staying on the scariest floor well not the scariest floor definitely the scariest corridor because I had to walk the length of, I'm on the sixth floor, I'm in room 633 and I had to walk the lengths of this floor to find my room and as I was walking through I was like, oh do you know what, it's not like that scary, all the corridors were like lit, I was, it gave me shiner vibes a little bit but I was like, not too bad, like it's okay and then I turned the corner to get to my corridor and it was literally like pitch black, like it was absolutely petrifying and I had to walk down it to, oh, bear with, I am like the whip. Okay, let me just explain what th this could literally be drunk. So, see this blind here? I was originally going to film over there, so I set my tripod up over here. So, I pulled this curtain back and tucked it behind this red one and tucked it behind the chair so it was like secured in. And it's literally just moved and fell down, but the rest of it hasn't fell. Just that bit. I mean, obviously, I'm getting a bit spooked now. Oh. Obviously, that could be like debunked, it probably just fell, but put the shits up me for sure. Just as well as I was saying, I was staying on the scariest corridor like that. Freaked me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God. Oh, this has just creeped me out. You know, unlike the conjuring where they use like a little mirror and something's in the background behind them. That is just freaked me out as soon as, um, as, soon as I picked it up. I can't even speak because I'm not scared now. I was like pumped before when I was downstairs because the reception was quite busy. Like compared to last time when we came last time, it was literally empty because we came in lockdown. So I was expecting it to be the same, but like there were so many people on nights out to so obviously the stay in here after the night out so i was like you know what it's not even gonna be like that scary but now i'm here isolated and alone oh my god getting to me i'm literally using the viewfinder to do my makeup in i haven't really bought a mirror apart from that small one which isn't very wise but we should go with what we've got oh my god why am i like this i've literally just remembered while i'm doing my makeup my emf meter is meant to be set up so you can catch any girls while i'm doing my makeup and i completely forgot all about it bear with so if anyone doesn't know what an emf meter is basically so it goes green, amber, red. And if it detects like activity, like energy, it'll spike up to red. Um, just to prove that, I'm right by my camera now. It doesn't go off by my camera. We'll set that up in the corner there. So like, if it goes off, you'll see it perfectly. Should we try asking it some questions before we move on? Um, if there's any spirits here with me other than me right now, could you please make the EMF meter spike up? So I hate speaking out loud and especially speaking to like spirits potentially. Or freaks me out that it's just silent. I've literally got my crystals on the lot. I've got two crystals to keep me extra safe and I've got a black crystal in my pocket because I don't want nothing attaching to me. No one can attach to me, just saying. Just putting it out there that no one can, don't even try. Right, let's move on. So for contour, I use the Revolution Contour Stick. Again, this is just from like Superdrug and it is in shade F13. But F13 is like the best shade for like people with fair skin, I think. It's not like too dark and it's not like too orangey either. So I always do contour after, I literally can't speak, oh my God. And that's booed, I can't string the together. I always do contour after foundation because as soon as I do concealer, I need to set it straight away because um, my eyes crease so bad. So obviously if you're setting it, and then trying to do contour, it just doesn't blend very well. Because my foundation is quite pale, and not really like my exact skin match, I bring the contour candle like... 
Is my camera going on to focus? Um, don't know. I can't bring the contour down before to like warm it up more. One thing that has changed about my makeup routine since last time is I now do reverse contour on my nose. So I used to do just the sides and have like white down the middle, but now I have brown down the middle and like white in the sides. I don't know. I see in the Paris Artiste do it. If you don't follow her, go follow her because she is bomb. So I do it. So I literally pinch the brush and just bring it down the sides, then down the middle. And then I bring it up into me eye socket is that what's called eye socket and then just keep blending but yeah, i'm gonna do this whole look and think oh my god this looks bomb ass and then i'm gonna look in the mirror and i'm gonna be like what happens because i genuinely can't see i'm just winging it right now so now we're moving on to concealer so at the minute i'm using that revolution heartbreaker concealer it's got like a little heartbreak heartbreak it's got a little heart shaped end which is real cute if you do so to himself and I'd literally just pop right there and then I'll blend this whole face before moving on to the next one. And then I bring it like kind of sharply up to kind of give me that like winged eye look. I mean, I don't know if it works or not, but like just do it and hope for the best. When I said before as well about the reverse contour, I bring the concealer kind of like down here to, I don't know, just to make it more like sharp and crisp looking. By the way, I apologise if I'm a lot more like quieter and like not as up. What is wrong with me? Oh my god, this video can't go on like this because I swear that bag next to me is just sadly moved. Don't start. If I'm a lot more like quieter compared to usual, it is literally because I am breaking it like stringing a sentence together is hard. So like you can imagine how freaking scared I am right now. So to set it, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. This has got more of like a like a shimmer kind of like honey tone to it compared to like the white one but to be fair i do prefer the white one but this is the only one that i've got at the minute so we've just got to use this one and then i like i pack it under because my eyes oh my god they crease so bad and then i pack down here as well and then just kind of like dab it everywhere else I wonder who's staying on this floor, like I can't believe how busy it is compared to like the last time I was here. Like one of the people in the next door, can I hear me right now? And then after a minute I just kind of like dust it off and down my face. And then dust these bits off as well. I swear to my camera keep getting on to focus. I genuinely can't tell whether it is or it's not. Before we move on to the next step, shall we try out some Dowson rods and see if there's anyone that wants to communicate with us? To so those that don't know what Dowson rods are, they're like two little sticks. Apparently years ago, they were used to communicate with the devil, which freaks me out. Like the devil, they asked the devil to show them where water was and he'd use the sticks to like point to where the water was. Weird, crazy, hell scary. But now they're used to communicate with spirits. Like you say, like if anyone's here with me, can you please cross these rods? Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, if you've watched me videos before, like, you all know that. But for those that are new or, like, haven't, like, that's what they do. <sighs> People are always sceptical about these as well. I literally can't explain how much, like, they, they really work. Like, it's crazy. Like, obviously, I can get these to move if I, like, swung it. But, like, you, you'd see me wrists moving to swing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, honest to God, like, they really do work. Here's where they just don't work now. and Just make a light out to me. Right, let me steady them out. Now that we've like got into this, like really starting to freak out a little bit now. If there's anyone here with me in this room, can you please cross these rods? If there's anyone here other than me in this room, could you please cross these rods together? I'm pushing. Please cross these rods if there's anyone here with me other than me. Please cross these rods over if there's anyone here in this room other than me. So let's just move next to me. Draw off the lights, the cameras, my equipment to get energy to push these rods together and cross them over if there's someone here with me other than me. Right, let's do it again just to confirm whether that actually did work or not. 
Can you please cross these rods if you're okay with communicating with me? Can you? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was fucking weird. So this EMF meter that is there, it's getting held at free from me out. This EMF meter that is getting I can't even speak. So the EMF meter that's sat there, the reason it's that high up is because it's literally on top of the bin and there's a plastic bag inside the bin that has been like in this position for ages. It hasn't moved the whole time for me in here, literally been recording for 20 minutes, it hasn't moved an inch, and it's literally just moved, just pushed and moved on. Let me show you. That was weird. So that's the actual bin bag, but there's a, they put like a bin bag at the bottom of the bin bag. So when you change it, there's a bin bag there. And it's literally just been pressed up the whole time. It literally just pressed down and fell. Like that was so freaking weird. If that was someone in this room that moved that bin bag in the bin, could you please cross these rods? Pull them together. They crossed, no way. That that was weird though, like that really, really did creep me out a little bit. Like they fully crossed, like I said, is that you that moved the bag? And they hadn't been crossing the whole time at all. And then the bag moved, and then as soon as I say, was that you that moved the bag? Crossed, weird, like actually really creepy. Now we're gonna do a little bit of contour. So I used the Becher bronzer, is it called? Becher sunlit bronzer in the shade I uh, Panima Sun. Mm, I really can't pronounce that, but this is what it looks like. But it is quite dark to be honest, so I only use like a little bit because it does like grab the colour straight away. I always mix up doing like circle motions and double motions when it comes to contour. I feel like it just helps blend it a little bit better. And then the fog, obviously, you gotta bring it down because we are a part of the big fog club. And then again, I pinch this brush and then just take it down my nose a few swipes. And then obviously again, bringing it up into the eye. I kind of like bring it out a little bit here as well. I don't know if it does anything or even works, but like I think, well, what I want to do is like snatch me more, whether it does or not, who knows. And then jaw contour, I literally just pinch it and like just draw across my jaw. Sometimes if it does get a little bit dark, so we're just going back in with like the setting powder just to like kind of even the tone out a little bit. Now it's time to sparkle, so we're going to do some highlights. Do you know what? For a while, I just stopped using the highlight, like from like March or through summer. I just stopped using it. I don't know why. I just felt like I'd done it too much. So I stopped using it, but recently, I don't know why again, but I've just started to use it again. So I use the Becca Champagne Pop, literally best highlighter there is. It's got like pinky undertones, which I love because I feel like it blends in perfectly when you do blush. Like I feel like it just makes it look so much nicer. And then I use a little fluffy brush. I do like the tips of my nose and then like the sides of my nose there as well. Just to like make it pop a little bit and then keep it bow. Then I just do like a little bit. Don't know what that does, I just like to think it works. And then blush, oh my god, I have literally raved about this blush for so friggin' long because it is genuinely the best blush ever. I think it's meant to be a highlight though, I think. Um, but I use it as a blush. It's the Fenty Beauty Duo in shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Also, by the way, I feel like I need to address the LRL situation. So I've literally had so many messages being like, are you doing it this year? And I feel like I've been proper like putting it off because, by the way, look at this. Let me just show you. It's so freaking nice. Yeah, I feel like I've been like putting off like replying and answering because I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. And I was hoping, I was putting off hoping that like I could come back with like more of a positive answer and be like, yes, we're going to do it. But for like a week last, for a week, like two weeks ago, we were like, yeah, no, we'll do it, we'll do it. So under the right of me keeps moving, like I keep hearing like the bag can like move a little bit. Weird. And then I do my nose as well, just to like give you a little bit of like a sunburn, like kiss look. And then just dab. I always overdo it with blush as well. You can't have too much blush, the girlies and the girlies. Yeah, I feel like I've just been like avoiding it because I really want to give them more positive answer. And like for a minute, we was going to do it. And we were like, yeah, set, we'll definitely do it. But then, like, literally, life is just like gotten away so much. Like, we've all got like different commitments. Like, no one's like free at the same time and stuff. And people have like, we've got to, like, all of us basically can't gather time 
where we can do it all together um, which is like so sad and so good to them because we were literally so 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 excited to do another series and especially with it being spooky season and obviously last year we did do it for halloween but unfortunately this year we're unable to do it which is so sad but the thing is though we don't want lrl to just be like a halloween thing like we when we can do it we want to like do videos more often not just for halloween so obviously as soon as we do get the time and like obviously we don't have all like other different commitments that we need to do we will be doing a video so don't you think that like we're not ever going to do it again because we literally are and we love doing them type of videos but for now take my spooky content for now because i'm doing it overnight it's not i don't know what i'm saying but i am going to be in your delphi all night tonight so you can get your, your spooky fix from my channel at the minute by the way i'm using the collection clear brow gel i've literally sworn by this for years like it's so good but like mine are literally running out right now they're so minty and like overused like i really really need to invest in a new one so i just like brushed them up and kind of like out because i like a messy wolfy look and then i recently started using this rosie got sent this by the fantastic and i was like do you know what that looks quite good i'm gonna use it and oh my god it is great it's the brow gel style and define by i Ico, but it's got like a smaller brush so it's so much easier to like fill them in without getting like brown smudge everywhere especially because my eyebrows like a wolfy like you want to brush through them and i don't want to transfer the product so with the smaller brush it is a lot more easier to do that i always wipe off the excess though because i don't like it when it's proper dark and smudgy like i just like to add the color a little bit by the way i completely forgot to mention any like bit of history of like why this is the uk's most haunted hotel i kind of don't want to say it all in this video though because obviously like i will go into more depth about the hotel history the ghost sightings in the other video but basically there is a lot of alleged hauntings that have happened here like ghost sightings like this building's been around since 1924 and before that there was another building that stood here which was also apparently meant to be really really haunted so whatever it is just like the ground itself that's really haunted um but when we did come last time we went down to the ballroom and we got so much response there every time we'd say that was you make a noise we'd hear like noise after noise after noise which was so like freaky and it was huge like it was literally immaculate and unreal i swear i keep hearing a noise next to me so we're gonna hopefully try and head down there i'll move a video later if it's not closed off but yeah there has been a lot of like deaths in this hotel like suicide i think there's two two noted suicides that happened in this hotel which is like so sad and also super 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 airy i don't know what side of the hotel i'm actually on as well but apparently the brownlow hillside there's a man called george i think his name is and he's seen he committed suicide and he's seen by passerbys um shouting help out the window which oh my god like that's scary um i don't know what room that was actually in though or whether I'm even on that side of the hotel or not, I need to check that out. I'm gonna try that EMF meter again because I really, really want to work. Because normally we get a good response with the EMF meter, but today it doesn't really seem to be like doing anything. If there's any spirit, okay, I know I can say. To whoever moved the bag before, if that was you, can you please spike the EMF meter up? It's this thing here. All you've got to do is come near it, give off some energy, and it will spike up. If that was you, if you're here, can you please make the EMF meter spike up? No, we don't seem to be getting a response, unfortunately. Um, have I just heard something? It sounds like a bum, bum, a bang or something. I don't know if it, it sounds like it was like behind me or in front of me. I literally can't work out where that came from, but that was like so faint, but like so dominant as well. Like that, that was weird. So for mascara, I do normally use the Maybelline Sky High. Mascara, I think it's like a Jupiter Too Faced, is it? What's it called? Like, better, I think it's a Jupiter of the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, but I'm literally like running so low on it. So I'm gonna mix both of these. This is a Maybelline Gills Sensational. Mm. So I'm gonna mix both of them and just see what we can do. I genuinely can't believe I'm literally in the UK's most haunted hotel by myself right now. Like, what the actual hell? Like, those who have watched any of my previous videos will know I absolutely hate, hate, hate being alone like just being by myself like even like if rosie goes and stays in a family home and i've got to sleep alone oh my god hate it like i just do not like being alone so like girlies and girlies this is an achievement that i'm even here by myself 
like what the hell also i don't know if i mentioned it before or not i can't remember but when i came in to this hotel room before there was literally it was pitch black in here there was no working light at the time i touched the light switches only the bathroom light to come on which is obviously like the tiniest bit of light over there and the rest of the room was pitch black and i was like oh my god like what am i gonna do like how am i gonna get in here i'll go in here and pitch black so in the end i had to like come in with my torch and like navigate myself around to try and find a lamp and luckily i found these two lamps but this whole room doesn't have one bulb in the ceiling like isn't that too strange like why does it not have light in here like it's just so weird like what happens if these lamps break like what the hell i don't like to do a lot of mascara on my bottoms because i don't like them looking quite like chunky so i just do like a light stroke on them we are nearly done we have just got lipstick left to go i feel like doing my lipstick is literally the hardest part of my makeup routine because as you can see the top lip is non-existent so i've literally just got to draw it on normally i do use like a lip liner my head just went blank but i don't know where mine is at the minute so i do if i can't find it i do just draw it on with the lipstick itself that so literally just make the top lip this is risky business doing this in the viewfinder like if i fuck these up i'm fucked because i've got no makeup wipes and i'm filming in a minute <laughs> We are not having a good lip day today. We are really, really not. We're getting so like misshaped. Oh my God. That has just took so long and they don't even look the best. But you know what? It's just gonna have to do. But that is my everyday makeup routine complete. I think it's quite like natural. We've got a bit of a like natural sun-kissed look. I hope you all enjoyed. It hasn't been as scary as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, we had the odd little creaks, bangs, a little bit of movement, but I am a bit of a skeptic and I think some of the stuff obviously can be debunked. But thousand rods and been moving, like that creeped me out. But I really, really do believe this hotel is haunted. Like I stayed here last time and oh my god, like the vibe in this as well. Like you really do not feel alone when you're here. So definitely tune in to meet up a video. I will link it down below. I don't know if this is coming out before actually. This might be coming up before. If it's not up now, it will be up in a few days' time. But definitely come along and watch that one because I think things will definitely get a lot more spookier and if you're into spooky things definitely watch just because i am a little bit dissatisfied of like how little ghost activity we got during this video i'm just gonna do the dozen rods one last time just in case if there's anyone here who thinks my makeup looks nice can you please cross these rods cross them over if you think it looks nice cross them outwards if you don't think it looks nice I just did like a squeak from the left and then that thousand rod just turned outwards. Oh my God, maybe I should stop messing around. I'm sorry. Let's just cross them. Let's try one more time. Serious now. Please cross these rods if there's anyone here with me. weird why now when we end the videos are just starting to work should we ask one more last question if you passed away here could you please cross these rods if you didn't pass away here but you just reside here can you please turn them outwards if you died here could you please cross these rods if you just reside here could you please turn them outwards Oh my god thank you i'm sorry if you if if you're a female can you please cross these rods if you're a male can you turn them outwards female. if you're a female can you please cross these rods if you're a male can you please turn them outwards If you're a female, can you please cross these rods? If you're a male, can you please turn them outwards? That was a, a sharp turn then. That was so weird. Thank you. To a female. Oh my gosh. 
Right, I've got to get on with this other video, so if you want to carry on seeing more spooky stuff, please tune into the other video. Um, as I said before, I will link it down below if it is up. If it's not up, wait a few days and it will be up, but definitely subscribe so you know when it will be out. Um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, it's been super fun, super airy, super spooky, and I will see you in the next video.